Get ready for an epic adventure with the special new Energon Universe free comic book day 2024 special featuring three all new stories from the Energon Universe. This video brings stunning revelations for the worlds of Transformers, G.I. Joe, and Void rivals crafted by the biggest names in comics. Whether you're a new reader looking for the perfect jumping one point or a long term fan craving new thrills, this special edition is a can't miss event you are a metal abomination in organic filth you still belong to me belong pathetic insect do you know who i am i belong to no one quote globulus and megatron whatever happened to the decepticon leader presented by skybound entertainment distributed by image comics transformers energon universe 2024 special as the arc karens towards the blue and green planet below megatron tears through the opposing forces of its autobot crew the decepticon leader blasts a hole through bronze chest causing an enraged optimus prime to attack him optimus prime soars across the battlefield towards megatron who stands firm and unyielding as the unstoppable force meets the immovable object optimus prime calls out to megatron urging him to stop however megatron remains defiant responding with a resounding never prime never with determination in their sparks both leaders engage in a fierce and intense battle each fueled by their unwavering resolve and commitment to their cause optimus prime delivers a powerful right hook directly into the face of megatron the force of the blow reverberating through the battlefield, Megatron expresses disbelief, mocking Optimus Prime for supposedly begging for an end just before launching a powerful strike with his right hand towards Optimus Prime. As the battle intensifies, Megatron taunts Optimus, blaming him for the destruction of their home planet due to what he perceives as Prime's softness. With a fierce determination, Megatron delivers a powerful Superman punch directly into Optimus' Prime chest, sending him crashing to the ground. Seizing the opportunity, Megatron grabs Optimus Prime's face, cracking his eye as Optimus Prime pleads, Stop! In the midst of the intense confrontation, Megatron continues to berate Optimus, attributing the downfall of Cybertron to what he perceives as Prime's weakness. With a cruel and deliberate move, Megatron inserts his fingers into Optimus Prime's eyeball, causing him immense agony. And amidst the pain, Megatron relentlessly blames Optimus for the destruction of their home planet Cybertron. In a sudden an unexpected turn of events. Optimus Prime swiftly wields his iconic Energon axe, severing Megatron's arm from his body. The Decepticon leader lets out a piercing scream of agony as he realizes he has lost his right arm in the brutal attack by Optimus. Optimus Prime takes advantage of this moment, delivering a powerful kick that sends Megatron hurling towards an opening in the ship. Hanging onto the edge, Megatron orders Starscream to aid him, but the Seeker uses the opportunity to finally leadership of the Decepticons, blasting Megatron and sending him falling to the planet. Starscream says, don't worry, rest now. Let me relieve you of this heavy burden of leadership. Megatron plummets from the Ark crashing onto the blue and green surface of Earth below. Awakening sometime later and now missing both arms in the science labs of Cobra La, Megatron's fury finally allows him to escape the shackles of his captors, crushing a Cobra La scientist under his foot. He demands the return of his limbs, but the surviving scientist tells him they were only able to find one. Megatron allows the scientist to live as thanks and reattaches his left arm. However, he is interrupted by the arrival of Lord Galobulus and the Royal Guard. Galobulus orders his soldiers not to let the beast escape. Living up to the description, Megatron savagely tears his way through the Royal Guard and Galobulus. Cobra La creatures, Galobulus launches the first attack. His creature's right hand striking Megatron as Galobulus roars. You still belong to me, Megatron. With a missing arm, an eye gouged out and months of torture at the hands of Cobra Commander, Megatron defiantly utters belong with defiance 
in his voice, Megatron retorts, pathetic insect, you know who I am. The lobbyist's words seem to fuel Megatron's resolve as Energon Wrecking Ball emerges from his left hand, ready for battle. Megatron bellows, I belong to no one, as he unleashes the Wrecking Ball, smashing into Galobulus's monstrous creature. With a defiant roar, Galobulus retreats from the fray, dissing himself from the monster. With Galobulus no longer within the monster, he charges forward with a clear intent to harm Megatron, proclaiming, You are a mistaken beast. Galobulus manages to stab Megatron in his remaining eye with his scepter, causing a leak of energy. Already missing his left eye, Megatron is further injured by the attack. As Kobila's soldiers start attacking Megatron, he removes the scepter from his eye and finally declares, No, I am the leader of the Scepticons, the leader of the true way. Blinded and furious, Megatron flees from the battle by flying upwards, bursting through to the surface of the planet amid the snowy mountains. Megatron swears that he will find Starscream and make him pay. Notes, the story finally reveals what happened to Megatron prior to the start of the main Transformers series. Issue 4 had previously shown Megatron frozen in ice with subsequently released Cobra Commander number one revealing he was found by the people of Cobra Law and take it in to be studied. Considering how this story ends with Megatron emerging into the frozen waste it's possible that the scene from Transformers 4 takes place after his escape from Cobra Law but the remains to be seen. Megatron's dialogue hints towards the ideologically conflict between the Autobots and the Decepticons something that has frequently been alluded to but not yet fully assumed established in the main Transformers comics. Megatron's line of, I belong to no one, echoes what Galvatron said to Unicron in the Transformers the movie. Two and a half aliens have a meetup. Presented by Skybound Entertainment Distributed, Image Comics, Void Rivals, Energy John Universe 2024 special after a galaxy spanning adventure. Scutzoid at long last makes his way to his companion Slizardo only to find the alien le leveling a blaster at him when he arrives. After a moment he, he passed to allow Slizardo to calm down and lower his weapon. Scutzoid relays that the ship he had been tracking for its alloy was taken by the Quintessence. After they discovered it was Zertonian Hearing the, that name also captures Slizardo's intrigue, but before anything else can happen, he said the meeting is interrupted by a third party, Hot Rod Transformer, who immediately demands to know about the ship. The presence of a Cybertronian enrages Scutzoid, rounding on Slizardo, who simply remarks that the work with anybody who pays and the Autobot pays well. Hot Rod has been tracking a missing ally for some time and demands to know if Scutzoid is going to be a help or a hindrance on the quest. Scutzoid quickly capitulates and hands over all the data he's gotten thus far from where he found the ship to where its former owners flew off after giving it up. Hot Rod tells the duo to stay out of trouble before taking his leave and the Scutzoid decides he's had enough adventure for the time being and heads home. And unseen by all, a robotic looking figure reports the meeting to its master. The story follows up on the first arc of Void Rivals, with Scutzoid having taken the makeshift ship in question from Darak and Solila back in issue 3 and getting it taken back from him by Quintessence in issue 6. Once again, Sartonian aspect of Darak and Solila's ship is what draws the attention of Slizardo and Hot Rod, just as it did the Quinsarians back in issue 5. The ally Hot Rod mentions isn't named, but it's almost definitely Springer, who is set to make an appearance in an upcoming issue 9. He could also be searching for Jetfire, who was dug up and reactivated by Darak and Sola all the way back in the first issue. Slizardo finally leaps from the original cartoon to join his partner, having first appeared in The Gambler before joining up with the Scutzoid in the third season episode, Grimlock's New Brain. I hate you, American. Well, you're really going to love me when I tell you what I've planned. Quote, Baroness and Duke. Duke recruits an unlikely member for his new team. Presented by Skybound Entertainment Distributed, Image Comics, G.I. Joe, Energon Universe, 2024 
special with Conrad Duke Hauser assembling his new team under the orders of Colonel Hawk. He decided on their next recruit, Anastasia Cisavrona, the renegade spy and assassin known as the Baroness. Hawk objects to the idea, giving her pass, but Duke argues that that's exactly why she should be recruited, that her experience and willingness to get dirty allow her to think outside the box. He also underscores that if they don't get to her, someone else will. Still on the run, Baroness walks down a city street before being attacked by two mysterious figures in green and black armor. She engages in a brief back and forth before Duke arrives on a motorcycle, offering her a left. The Baroness begrudgingly agrees. Aboard a plane, the Baroness expresses her disappointment that Duke has rejoined the United States military. Duke tells her the war they need to fight is bigger than they know and that he needs all the resources he can get. He wants someone around who will question authority and keep his team honest and on the edge. Someone like her. He gives her two choices. Join or spend the rest of her days either behind bars or on the run. Baroness, now wearing a new uniform, emblazoned with a star, gives her answer. Yo, Joe. While pursuing his various files, Hawk meets with two other agents, Flint and Lady J, both whom are wearing the green and black armor of the Baroness attacker. Hawk tells them they went easy on the Baroness, with Flint reminding him they were ordered to bring her in alive. Lady J points out that Duke rescuing her was wasn't part of the plan, but Hawk says that this still worked out. Baroness has been brought to their side, and she and Duke have a bond now. And given the recent issue of trust between Duke and him, Hawk doesn't want Duke to know that he's making more than one team. Notes. The story primarily acts as a coda to the Duke miniseries following up what happened with the Baroness after she escaped from the pit in issue 4. Hawk files at the end act sort of a bridge between all Earth-based Energon Universe titles. Duke, in addition, addition to the story, largely behind a coda to the events of Duke Hawk, has files for each of the Joe team members seen in the series, as well featuring photos of Destro and the MASS mass device, the schematics for which were first glimpsed by Dr. Adele Burkhardt's computer back in Duke number one. Scarlet. Hawk has a file for Scarlet indicating he's either considering recruiting her or has already done so. Destro. In addition to the aforementioned Destro file, we've seen a shot of the Crimson Twins, Tomax and Exmont on a monitor. Cobra Commander, while it wasn't quite on fire when last we saw the Dreadnought cabin was destroyed thanks to the actions of Cobra Commander and the Nemesis Enforcer. Transformer. Hawk has a file with the Autobot logo on it. Clutch's photo in Hawk's file shows him wearing a helmet, a shirt modeled on the G.I. Joe classified series design. This issue introduces Joe Stars and frequent partners Flint and Lady J to the Energon universe as part of the mysterious secondary team of Joes. Giving his u- usual leadership role we can likely expect Flint to have a major leadership role with the other team echoing similar role in the IDW continuality and Renegades cartoon. Their identities as the mysterious attackers are hinted at early on by both assailants using their signature weapons, a shotgun and a spear respectively. Why does Baroness say Yo Joe, even assuming the team Hawk and Duke are putting together, has officially taken on the name of G.I. Joe, it doesn't appear to be public knowledge yet and Baroness has been on the run since her escape. Stay tuned for more Energon Universe videos.